Tap dance to me is life, is expression, is artistic. Um, it's it's it, it's my therapy. Tap dance to me is not just a job. It's a, it's, it's a way of life to me. I walk and talk tap. I walk and talk rhythm. Um, so tap dance is everything. <laughs> My mother put me in all kinds of musical instruments. Um, she, I took the violin, I took the drums, I took the piano. And when it came to dance, she wanted me to try a form of dance as well. Um, I didn't want to do ballet, and I, 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 I didn't want to do modern or anything. And I actually saw Sesame Street. And Savion Glover was on Sesame Street. And I said, you know what, I think I'd like to try that. I think that looks cool, because I love to play the drums. I played the drums before I tapped into. I played the drums in church. Playing the drums, to me, was like tap dancing went hand in hand with it. So I tried tap dancing. I was five years old. I would bang on pots and pans in my house, things like that. And um, my mother put me at Newark Community School of the Arts, which is still in Newark, New Jersey, um, a local dance school where I had my first teacher. And I continued to go where I met Deborah Mitchell, who was, my, who was really my mentor um, until I was about 18. And when I was 18, I met Savion Glover, who took me to another level. But um, I, I would say that I, I started at a very young age, and I just just kept going with it. Um, and I would suggest, you know, everybody try it. What do you think does it take, and what makes a good tap dancer? Spirit, um, the hunger to learn. Um, respect, practice. <laughs> uh, we all to improvise is to fail. Is to have is to have a road map, but is to also feel. Improv improvisation does have a structure. Um, everything in life has a structure. Um, I, I, I try to structure my improvisation around music. Um, I think, to me, improv improvising is to feel music and to let the music take you, to let the music influence the steps, or to let life influence to improv. It's, to, it's, just, it's not to just go, but to, to go with a, a, with a, 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 a structure. Um, and I think the music for me is, is what, what, what inspires me to improv. Usually jazz songs work like this. You do the head, everybody goes to the head at the top of the song. After that, everybody solos. Now, in the solo, it's still the chorus of the head. They're still playing the bridge, they're still playing the, the, the they're still playing the form, the form, that's what it's called. They're History repeats itself. So if we don't know our, our, our past, we'll never make it to our future. Um, I think it is everything to know. You, you must know the history of, if you are into an art form, you would have to know the history of it to know where you fit in and to know where to go with it and to know where it fits. So I think the history of tap dance is, is, is American history. It's an American-based art form. So I think that the history of tap dancing is just as important as learning how to tap dance.
have an album out with a jazz band that I play with, the Jerry Allen um, Trio. Uh, I play in Jerry Allen's band. We have a CD called Timeline. Um, it's on iTunes. It's anywhere you can go. I will be in Paris in January, in January um, promoting the album and doing shows. I have that, and I also have my own band that I work with. And I'm also studying acting and drama and trying to get into TV and things like that. There's so much more.